Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today is my mom who is so kindly agreed to do this short interview with with us. Uh, she came all the way to my house for some computer issues. Uh, so I help her with her computer works. And at the same time, I thought it's a good time to ask her some questions. So the first question I ask you is, how am I as a little boy? Little boy? Uh? Yeah. Mm. Actually, you're a very well-behaved uh, son, you know. And you don't, give, yeah, you don't give me much problem. Actually, mm. I'm very blessed, you know. You can sleep well and, you know, some, some baby, they are born, they cry the whole night. Mm -hmm. But you, you are not. So I say, hey, this is a good, good boy, you know. And then, uh, you're very obedient also, la, but you're also very funny. La. Okay. Yeah, that's why my mom uh, tends to the and she very happy, especially you always cheer her up. Isn't it? Your oh, yeah, grandma. Po -po. Yeah, grandma. Yeah. Isn't it? Mm. Mm. So, yeah. Okay. Um, but of course, I know I also make you angry. La. Sometimes show one why every, every child got naughty. Right? Of course, la, but I can't remember uh, the thing that you made me angry. Uh, actually, a lot of things you didn't tell me. Mm. Even like you said you cycle and then you fell into the uh, drain, all this, I was like, huh? how come I didn't know? You hide. I don't know. Maybe I'm very strict la, mm. or I appear to be very strict. So like I'm a, more or less like a disciplined master. So you all, a lot of things, they not tell me. So I only see eh, quite a good, well-behaved boy. Okay. Yeah. Then um, what do you remember most about uh, my childhood? As in, you remember most about us, you know, as a family uh, and me as a child. I most see. memorable one, just give one. Oh, I, I can remember that while well, you can swim very well, I'm, I'm so proud of you. Wow, all the style, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm very proud. Okay. And also, I'm I'm very surprised that, you no, know, when you, you were young, I don't know why you're so attached to the church and you even like go out with the nun and even play guitar. I would say, eh, yeah, you're a very strange boy. So I'm so worried. I'm so worried that you may become a brother, you no, know, like or a priest in future. So I was like, I asked the nun. I think I asked a nun or a priest. I said, hey, I said, I'm so surprised. How come my son is so so you no know, uh, into uh, you no know, taking part in the church activities, even like play guitar. So I was like, someone is a young boy, and the people he mixed with is the nun, not not the not the 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 group that of his own age, you know. So it's like. So surprised that maybe he will be a brother or priest. So would I like him to be one of them? This is a very big question also. Uh, so, but then you, you did not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's, it's very, very, uh, I can remember very mm. well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's very nice. Um, <laughs> okay. So the next thing I'll ask you is, do you remember that night when I told you I wanted to be a Muslim? I... I don't remember actually la, because I, I'm not sure what is my reaction. I, I don't know what, what happened to me actually. <laughs> because first and foremost, I'm, I am I don't have a religion myself. I'm a free thinker. So when you say you want to be, be a Muslim, I just like, mm, uh, like, I just accept it. Lo. And mm. I also feel that you want to be a Muslim, okay, because I believe all religion, they teach Everybody, I mean, they teach people to be good. They, they won't want to teach someone to be bad, right? So whether you are Muslim or Christian, I think it should be okay because I, I think there's God. So you, you must believe in something. Although I'm a free thinker, um, I, I believe there's God. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, just to remind you that I remember that night, you were hanging the clothes actually. Yeah, yeah. I cannot and, and I walk up to you and I was actually worried. Don't know what you would think. I'll say, actually, I said prayer to God lah. Pray to Allah. I said, make it easy for me to speak to my mother, untie the knots in my mouth and tongue, open up her heart to accept what I'm going to say later about me telling you that I want to be a Muslim. Because you know, maybe you have this bad impression about Islam last time. You don't know what is it about, right? So it might feel like it's something very shocking to you. So I didn't want to shock you also. Yeah. Mm. So when I told you, actually, you remember what you say? You say, "Oh, really? Ah, okay. So you got tell your sister." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. I I can't recall. Yeah. yeah the only thing that um, uh, I I I I'm like, 
Islam, right? I just feel that there's a lot of restriction in terms of food wise. La. Other than that, uh, I think the belief is still believe in God. La. So the only thing is the food. So I we just got to you know, slowly uh, you know, get used to it. La. Yeah. So um, you just said you don't have a religion, mm-hmm. but you believe there's a God. Yes. You know what is this people call? I do not know. Uh, there's a word. The word is called agnostic. Agnostic. Yeah, actually, when I was a Christian Catholic, right? Mm-hmm. Then I was baptized and I go to church every time. Mm-hmm. Go for like 20 years of catechism, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And go to church. And I go to Australia, right? I start to go for a class like philosophy. I ask a lot of questions about why am I here? Why are we here in this world? Mm-hmm. And why do we need to be here in the world? It's a question I ask myself. So at the point in time, I start to question why is Jesus God? Why they call Jesus God? All these kind of questions mm-hmm. in my head. And then I start to investigate all the things that they say, whether true or not. And I find that it's not true. La, because Jesus is a man to me. God don't need to become a man to show you He's there. Because mm-hmm. God created the universe, the planet, the sun, the moon, the stars, everything. Everything is perfect now. You can breathe oxygen you got life, you got children. All these are already signs and miracles that God is showing you that He's there. That's why I started to think, hey, Christianity, actually, at the point that I don't agree in this thing. So, I become an atheist. Atheist means don't believe in any God. So, got one time, I just have fun and I have party. And I just think, if I'm happy, people happy. I treat people nice. People treat nice to me. If I die, then I die happy, right? Normal people think this way. Until... You call me and Baba called me that day when I was in school mm-hmm. and they all said that Papa passed away. Oh, Remember? I, see, uh-huh. I was in Australia uh-huh. and when Papa passed away, it was very sad for me because mm-hmm. she's a very special person to me also. Mm-hmm. So I asked, how come can this unhappiness happen in the world? Mm-hmm. And there must be something more powerful to control death. And that's why I thought there is a God. You see, you understand oh, the pattern now? Huh? So, when I when I thought there's a God, oh, so I become like you. Now, there is a God. I don't want religion to tell me who is God. Which is you lah now, like that. But after I met Shah, then I go and understand about Islam. Actually, you know what Muslim believe or not? Mm, don't you know? Don't Muslim believe in one true God. There's one God. There's no physical form, no image. Because... You cannot take a chair, you cannot take a statue and say it's a God. We don't believe that it's a God. Because God is so powerful. How can it just be in one stone or one wood or one tree, you know? It is beyond your comprehension. He's the most supreme, the eternal. You know, he doesn't give birth, he doesn't born. He's not a human, he's not like creation. Because creator create. We are creation. So we cannot imagine how powerful is the creator. It's just like the sun. If you think the sun is so powerful, right? Can you imagine God is even more powerful than the sun? How are you going to... You cannot see the sun. You look at the sun for all your eyes pain, right? Mm-hmm. Right? But God is even more powerful than the sun. He created the sun, what? How can we see God if you cannot see the sun? So, that's all the Muslim believe. They believe in just the Supreme God. Nothing can compare to this God. You know, this is like a very logical understanding of mm. God in, in Islam. Mm. For me, I'm, I'm, I'm different. Uh. That's why... You, you ask me like Christianity or seeing you know, Christianity I said look at the the statue is that really God so um, so that's why I have like this style like uh, question um, how, how does God look like you know uh, Christian okay I look at the the the, the crucifixion right they call it or crucified and then um even like I go to the temple, I also see like all those, uh, you know, the statue, this thing. So, that's why I, I, I said, I, I, I don't want to belong to any any religion, religion at all. As, as I said, I believe there's God. So, I just I just pray and say that oh, God help me or, you know, thank, thank you for giving me all the things. Because I was thinking, I, I, I really like, where, you know. I just feel that uh, I, I just want to behave and uh, be kind to people yeah. and I don't do all the bad things, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, I think that is good enough. La. That is how I believe. La. Because I also don't like to have a lot of restri- restriction. I cannot do this, cannot do that. Then I was thinking, why there's a lot of restriction? 
But mm. again, the restriction is to teach us to you know at least there's a guideline. You don't like you no know, go overboard and then you just do anything you you wish. So I I only believe that you you must be good and you don't harm people. That's more than enough, and God can see it. That's yeah. how I believe. Ah. So the reason why we have a uh, restriction and all that, like you say, is some very restrictive. But actually, if you don't got restricted by a religion, something will restrict you. In life, right, there's will be restriction. Right? It's whether you restricted by religion law, or you restricted by the laws of the nature around you. So God is trying to tell you, right, in this world is temporary and testing you only. You know, you said, uh, I don't, I don't have a god, but actually everybody worship something. You worship money, it's also a god. Mm-hmm. To you, you don't say it's god, but every day you spend your time, energy to get money, it's become a god to you already. You worshiping the money, mm-hmm. so that is why people said we are born with the need to worship something, mm-hmm. and that worship to direct to God instead of direct to money to anything lah. I see. Anyway, anything you want to say first? Any yeah. advice to me? Maybe you want to give. Yeah, me? I only pray. I but I advise. My advice is that you must believe there's God and then must really pray to Him for help and guidance and also must seek thank you to Him because without mm. Him, you, you are nobody one. Mm. Everything is provided by Him. Mm-hmm. So yeah, whether you are Christian or, or Buddhist or even a Muslim, it's it's only one God one, and He is the provider. So must always be uh, grateful and then say thanks to him. God, without him, uh, you, you are nothing. Man. See, although I, I don't have a religion, but I, I know there's God. And must we must try our best to be good. Mm. And don't harm people and be, calm, be, be kind to people and con- be considerate. A lot of people, uh, they are, whether they are Christian or what, uh, or uh, Muslim or Buddhist, uh, sometimes the way they behave, uh, I tell you, are uh, really very disappointing. Uh. So I was thinking, what is this? Mm. So it's it's very important uh. so but a lot yeah again the restriction also sometimes you also must ask yourself is this logical no because sometimes they really it's men set the restriction uh, no it's actually it's not God no they set it for their own good mm. so that you follow them actually so sometimes you have to ask yourself is that really what God want you to do so very important because they can brainwash you one correct so that you become them. And then, so I, I find that, yeah, so I have to be very, very careful. So the yeah. main thing is, you know, when God is the creator, he create creation. Mm-hmm. The best person to understand the creation is the creator. Mm-hmm. You agree, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So God, God give us rules. The certain rules is actually for our own good. For example, yeah, so why we have five time pray is because, I ask you honestly, yeah, if I don't give you any law now, don't pray, you can pray anytime. But when was the last time you pray? Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, actually, people, if they think back, when was the last time they prayed? God wants to put it in your life to pray on a, a certain time because it keeps creates this structure. If they have a law to give you a structure, all of us will be living in peace to remember God always. And that's why we have five daily prayer. We can pray anytime, but this is to help you, to keep you in check, you know? Because some people cannot keep themselves in check, Mama, if you don't, it's for the whole world, no? I feel I feel that no matter what, I think uh, when the day begin, you pray once, and the the day end, you pray you pray one. That is compulsory, I think. So I'm saying that I think uh, uh concerning like praying right, or prayer, I think that I think everyone should practice like at least morning the day begin, you start you pray for God gu- for guidance from God and protection. Then when the end the day ends, you must thank because he protected you the whole day. Mm. So you must say thank you to him. Then you have a good night's sleep. Huh? So I think a compulsory twice a day is is a must. Uh, okay, good. Wow, alhamdulillah. <laughs> good. <laughs> okay. So um uh, okay, um do you okay, do you know that Muslims also believe in Jesus? Uh, yeah, I think I think more or less the same uh, I know I, I think a lot of times like you no know, Christian the, the they name the 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 people there is uh, the same uh, like Jesus and I think Muslim is uh, there's a name right but it's very close already right? isn't it? You know why they they are quite close? Okay, mm, no. because it comes from Abraham as in the Abra- the God of Abraham mm. is Allah is the God okay then. There's of course his children. Then they start to have Judaism, then Christianity and Islam. 
if you ask them who is their God, they will say the God of Abraham is the same God that they believe in. So they're all children and brothers and sisters. They're all the same. So Jesus to us is just a prophet, a messenger of God. And we call him Isa. Okay. So do you want to say any uh, you say any prayer to me? You want to say a prayer? You can say. Actually, I'm I, I very shy uh, when saying prayer. I mm-hmm. I don't like to say out the prayer. One. So usually I will. And when I want to pray, I must be myself alone. One. Mm-hmm. I cannot like if I go to church, right? When a lot of people around me, I, I also can't pray. So, uh, yeah, so I, I never pray, uh, what you call it, uh, openly, you know, I would mm-hmm. like say it inside my heart, you no. Know? Although you never hear me pray. Uh. So even like, say, hey, mommy, you're very strange. Uh. You, are, you, are, you, you don't have religion. You don't, you're not a Christian. You're none. But yet, every now and then, do you remember, I call Harold, must pray. Uh, must pray. Do you remember? I even tell your sister, Amanda, must pray. Mm-hmm. So, I always say, hey, mommy, you, you, you funny, eh? you ask people pray and you're not praying. But do you know I pray secretly? Uh, but I never, I never pray in open. Uh, that's what I'm saying. So now you ask me to pray. I feel that, no, I won't, I won't say it in front. It's okay if you cannot, you know, you don't have to pray, you're shy. <laughs> yeah, I'm very shy. I'm very shy. <laughs> so, but, but is it okay if uh, your son pray for you? I yes, pray for of course, you. of course. I okay. always tell, you know, I always say, hey, pray for me, uh, pray for me. Uh. Okay. Uh, so actually, uh, everyone need prayer. Okay. Not only yourself pray, people pray for you. It's very mm. important, actually. Okay. Isn't it? Okay, I will... But I pray in Arabic. Then I explain to you what the meaning of the Arabic oh, is. I, I, because I, I don't know. Because mm-hmm. I, 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 when I'm born, I'm brought up by my mom. Because my mom and dad, they are all no religion. But they believe there's God. So mm-hmm. they always pray and you know, look at the you know, heaven and say that I ask for, for uh, uh, blessing. So, um, oh, I, suddenly I just lost my thinking. Uh, so I feel that when you say your prayer out, uh, it's like, uh, like not real lah. like you're, you're, you're just making up a, something a prayer and sh- sh- I mean to me lah, my, my feeling is that you're making up a prayer to let people know that you're praying so that's why I, I never want to pray in, mm. in openly on. yes uh, but um, people want to pray for me I always want to receive okay <laughs> so um, uh, the thing is the prayer we are saying is not a uh, come from like you know from our head and we think of this prayer one mm. this prayer is God give you the words to say oh. so that because it's the best words to say oh, yeah, and yeah, when yeah. you say he, you can feel how close God is to you when you say these words Arabic is more profound when you hear it so mm-hmm. I say for you okay 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 <laughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahmanirrahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in Ihdina as-sirat al-mustaqim Sirat al-ladhina an'amta alayhim Gwairi al-maghdubi alayhim Walau dolli Amin. Okay. So how do you think about this? Wait. The name of this prayer is called Al-Fatiha, which means the opening in English. Mm -hmm. And it's the words that God teaches us, Allah teaches us to say to Him. And it basically goes like this. When we say, A'uzu billahi minash shaitan rajim, which means, O Lord, save us and protect us from the Satan. After that, we say, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. It means in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. And Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin. That basically means, O oh Lord, the, you're the cherisher of the world, the sustainer of this world, and all praises be to you. You know, to you praise God. 
Al-Rahmanirrahim It's like saying Oh God, you're the most merciful and most gracious. Repeat the gracious and most merciful God. So we are seeking God's, you know, grace and mercy. Maliki mm-hmm. uh, Basically, you are the master of the day of judgment. Mm-hmm. Which means, we all acknowledge that there will come a time when the world will end and God will put justice on this world and He will say who is right and who is wrong. Because God can see everything. Mm-hmm. We are saying, Oh Lord, to you we worship, to you we seek help from. Okay, so we acknowledge that He is alone the person we ask help from. Okay, uh, please lead us to the straight path, God. You know, asking God, lead us to the straight path, the path that is the right path, you know. Sirat al-ladhina an'amta alayhim Gwairil maghdubi alayhim Waladhalin The path of those who you bestow your favour upon and not of those who earn your anger, your wrath or those who go astray or mislead other people. So, we as Muslims believe that you know, God give us a straight way to follow because He wants all of us to go heaven. And from this prayer, we seek his guidance also. The prayer is very strong and people, we Muslim pray to our loved ones. In fact, this is called the opener of the heart. So when we say this prayer, your heart is open and you can receive all the blessings from God also, you know. Yeah, so that's the power of this prayer. What do you think? It's, it's very powerful. And I think, yeah, I just now I was saying that uh, I, I dare not pray uh, openly, right? So when I when I say that I dare not pray openly, is that mean you are praying your own words on so I think it's good that you must have a proper prayer so that you the the you know God is so 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 powerful, right? You cannot just simply uh, talk to God. I mean although I I advise by say hey, you can anytime, whatever you talk, God know what you're talking. But I think as as a like mark of respect, uh, there must be a proper way of saying a prayer first. Say the proper prayer first, then after that you want to say what you want from mm. God and thank God in your own way really. So, there's a proper way to talk, then after your own way. Of course, God already know, mm-hmm. but just a mark of respect. Mm. You have to have a proper formula, right? I mean, like, you see your father, father, no, you just got, but you still, uh, um, hi, uh, that, uh, after that, you, you become yourself already, then you can talk already. Right? So, I, I think, God also the same way, you must show a respect first, then after that, you ask, you thank, and you ask for help. Yeah, 100% correct. That's why mm. there's a proper structure to acknowledge the king first, right? You go to see the king also, you don't straight away, hey king, hello, how are you? Yeah, no, thank you. Correct? They have to be trumpet, <laughs> la, yeah. no, people say, welcome to the king house, you know, something like that. So, the same thing, when we meet the majesty of the world, right, there's a proper way to greet even to yes, God. So, I'm glad you enjoyed the prayer. Yeah. And do, do you think it's quite surprising that I'm Chinese, but I'm speaking in Arabic. Uh, actually, I am not surprised. In fact, when you, before you become a, a Muslim, right, I really saw you practicing Arab, you know, the writing. I said, wow. I said, wow, you really, really very serious into it. Because mm-hmm. I saw you have an exercise book and you start writing. I said, oh no. I said, so he is really, really serious. So, um, that, I'm I'm waiting uh, but I'm I'm surprised that why well, you can really say a, a very perfect prayer. Or I, I mean after your translation, of course I know what is it about. But it's it's not easy actually for a Chinese uh, I, I I don't know. I mean it's it's Arabic, you know. It's not any other languages. Mm-hmm. So I uh, I'm very glad I got a prayer from my son and uh, the the prayer is covers everything, uh, thanks and also you no know, a lot of things. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't receive any prayer for so long. Can you imagine? So long I didn't get any prayer. Actually, I pray for you every night. You just don't know. I mean, I, I, was... I, I didn't, uh, yeah, that's why I didn't hear it. <laughs> so yeah. this is my first time you say a prayer mm-hmm. in front of me. You see, mm-hmm. I mean, have you ever said prayer in front of me? No, right? Ah, uh, this is the I first so time. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first time I received mm-hmm. prayer. So I'm, I'm very touched. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, I just want to say that um, as your son, okay, I love you very much. And I want to ask you for your forgiveness also 
for anything that I do that is hurt you, offensive to you, uh, make you feel very sad or disappointed in me. Uh, know that I always try my best to improve myself, uh, become a better son to you. And that I also wish that, you know, you can come to see how beautiful Islam is and, you know, embrace the, the one true God we all believe in. You know, like I said before, Muslim, we all only believe in one God. Okay, in, in Arabic, basically, it's go, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Kul huwa Allah huwa had. They say there's only one God. Okay, Allahu Samad, the eternal and the absolute. Lam yali the walam yulad means he does not beget or doesn't begotten. Means he's not born or he doesn't give birth. Okay, walam yakul lahu kufuan ahad. Which means, basically, there's nothing in this world can be compared to the Almighty. Mm-hmm. so that's the core belief of the Muslim and all the prophets we believe from the time of Adam Moses you know David Solomon and even you know uh, Noah all the way down to Jesus Isa we call him Isa and the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the last and final prophet the messenger that God gave to mankind to share this message this whole prayer was Decided, you know that the prophet is actually illiterate means he cannot read he cannot write but he can say this thing uh, so eloquently so people at the time were like amazed you know how he can say these words uh, so beautifully it has to be divine revelation come to you to that's why people all followed him you know and his character was very good you know the prophet said about how we should treat our mothers so basically they said heaven is at the feet of your mother which means the importance of the mother to the son or to the children is so big. So women is seen as very powerful. In Islam it says a lot of respect and reverence given to women. The key to enter heaven, right, is at the mother's feet. So we must be nice to the mother. That's a must in Islam, you know? That's how powerful Islam emphasizes. The key to heaven is to your mother. I, I heard that's why I was thinking um, why I, I also want to find out why. Mm. Oh. Yeah. So inshallah means God willing. Okay, may Allah grant you hidayah means guidance in this life. And inshallah, when you feel that you are ready to open up to ask more about Islam, to find out more, I hope I am a good son to show you the way lah. <laughs> At least through me, right? My actions and my behavior and how I treat you as a son. You see the beauty of Islam through me. And then you just let me know one day you want to you no, know, we are Muslim and then that's how, that's how it happened lah. okay M- most important thing just know that I love you yeah. and I love you very very much and I really want to see you and Papa and my Manda and my family all yeah. in heaven in paradise we call it Jannah in, 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 in Islam uh, anything you want to say to me uh, yeah I want to say is that yeah, sometimes you know we all um, as a mother actually the mother a bit long winded and nag a lot or even get very angry and no matter how you all make me angry I, I will always forgive you all and always love her. so yeah I also want to say sorry lah, no? I mean sometimes also I I a bit like unreasonable but um, it's all because uh, it's because of love la. most most important is because of love yeah who who don't love their children you know no matter what you do uh, you are always my son yeah you will be forgiven la. and we never hold anything against you actually <laughs> we just hope to have you to have more peace in yeah. your life happy with us, happy with everything around you and be a, a basically a happier soul, you know, a happier person and also be peaceful. Yeah, yeah so I give so, you... So don't have a hard feeling. I mean like... No, no, no hard feeling. Everybody, correct, no? Uh, no, no, no hard feeling. Like, we, we are all stressed. So sometimes we just like, just not not our day but we don't, we don't mean it. I mean, don't, don't mean anything like no, wow, really. No, sometimes I can say a lot of hurtful things but I don't mean it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we are not perfect, right? yeah. so make no, mistakes. No, 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 it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. I love okay. you, mommy. Take care of your son. Yeah. Mm. Most important, every must live happily. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you got, if you got um, <laughs> in the future, <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you like sick or anything, just let me know. I can't <laughs> take care of you, you know. Sometimes <laughs> I'm too far away, I don't know, you know, if yeah. you want to think. I know, okay. I know.
So uh, I hope everyone you can look at the camera actually. <laughs> no, all of you uh, enjoy our conversation. So bye. Bye. <laughs> so now that you have heard what my mom shared about that night when I told her that I had the intention to become a Muslim and also her thoughts on God and Islam, I hope this sharing has been beneficial to you. Please share it if you think that it would benefit others too. Please hit the subscribe and the like button and turn on notifications if you wish to see more of my videos. Sorry that I've been delayed with my uploads for more than a week. I was mainly caught up with work and did not get enough rest. I hope that you guys can be patient with me and continue to support me. To all my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallahu khairan. And as always from your brother Fadaus to you, Inshallah, may we meet in Jannah, paradise one day. And to everyone out there, I wish you'll have a beautiful day ahead. <laughs>